All right, check this out. For those who are on my channel that keep coming to me, I mean, it's 2021. I don't care if sports are scripted or not. I, I simply do not care. Okay? The same people that's complaining about white supremacy is not going to do nothing to stop them. Let's just, keep, let's just keep it real. There's nothing you can do against white supremacy, especially in this country. Because the ones that's complaining about white supremacy are not even black. And I don't mean to play the race card, right? I'm not trying to put no color, but I don't care about white supremacy. White supremacy does not affect me. All right? Let's get that understanding. Like affects some other people. The same people that's complaining about white supremacy that come on my channels. What are you doing to stop it yourself? You know, when I'm going on my channel, I'm going to post things that I want to post. I talk about sports because I like watching sports. That's something I'm obviously passionate about. You know, I talk about my sports as, as well as I talk about other topics that are important. But white supremacy at the end of the day is not stopping somebody like Jay-Z. Okay, Jay-Z is basically owner of the Denver Broncos. Just in case y'all ain't um, got the news or you ain't been paying attention. Right, Jay-Z basically owns a football team. But I know this is too, right? And uh, this is just, you know what I'm saying, like my race entirely. When somebody like Jay-Z succeeds in life, we want to get jealous of them. We don't call them devils. But yet, you want to talk about white supremacy. It's crazy. When Jay-Z, you know what I'm saying, gets a deal with the NFL, right? And he tries to get somebody like Carla Cap a job. Y'all don't want that at all. Y'all don't talk about that. But you want to talk about white supremacy. Jay-Z has just bought, recently bought the Denver Broncos. How many of y'all actually knew that actually happened? Because the Broncos is up for sale. Yes, John Elway is the general manager, but John Elway ain't, ain't trying to buy the Broncos. So Jay-Z basically owns a football team. I don't know if he's like the full owner. He may be part owner. This is a simple fact that man is an owner. Matter of fact, look at Venus and Serena Williams. They both are minority owners of the Miami Dolphins. And the owner of the Miami Dolphins is not even white. I mean, technically he is, but I'm just saying like the Jaguars, excuse me. Yeah, the Jaguars, they, they're, they're minority owners. The person that, uh, that uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Kenny Stills, when I did that video on him, right, he, 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 wanted, he has the nerve to talk about the owner of the Dolphins, but the, the owner of Dolphins allowed Venus and Serena Williams to buy the, uh, to be minority owners, minority share owners of the uh, Miami Dolphins. And then on top of that, the person who owns the Jaguars is a Middle Eastern man, okay? Yo, let that, let that sink in. The person who owns the Jaguars is not even white. He's Middle Eastern. Just like the, the person who owns the Sacramento Kings is Shaquille O'Neal and the Indian, and, um, dude who's Indian. It's, a, it's an Indian man who's part owner of the Kings, along with Shaquille O'Neal. So as much as people are complaining about white supremacy, man, when a lot of our own people make it in the industry and succeed, y'all don't want to congratulate them. You don't want to praise them at all. You don't want to thank them for nothing. This is why I don't take white supremacy seriously. Because if that's the case, then why are so many black people still playing in it? Why are my people still signing contracts? So to the person who keeps coming on my channel and talking about white supremacy, I do not care. There's too many of y'all doing that, man. RG, all these people wasting time. And yet they want to make money off of it. All these YouTubers who talk about sports are scripted, yet... You're trying to bet money from it. You wanna, you wanna tell people to gamble from it. Now, who are you to be telling me if it's scripted? If you're trying to make money off of it, then when you lose, you say, "Oh, it's a script being flipped." No, that just means you don't know how to bet. That just means you don't actually watch the games. That just means you at home watching TV. You don't actually go out outside your doors, and you don't drive to an actual stadium or to an arena. But people want to get on me and tell me that sports is scripted. How I should feel about white supremacy? I don't care about white supremacy. I serve an Almighty God. I got faith in, in the Lord. So me, by having faith in the Lord, I don't got to worry about white supremacy. Yes, it's bad. Yes, what these officers have been doing to my people has been bad, right? But there's nothing really we, we can really do about it but be better as ourselves, treat ourselves with respect, okay? And when it's come time to vote for certain laws to be passed, we need to go out there and go vote. There are some people that's complaining about white supremacy that don't even vote. They don't participate in no election at all. 
but want to tell people like me how I should feel. You want to get mad at me and how I should think about things, man. Come on now. Y'all want to complain about white supremacy? Then you got Oprah Winfrey. That's a millionaire that's been doing all these things for the community. She got all this money. She got her own neck ring. And y'all don't even thank Oprah Winfrey at all. Y'all hate Oprah Winfrey. But Oprah Winfrey has hired and employed a lot of black people in her network. Okay? Look at Denzel Washington. Look at, look at these other celebrities. Will Smith. Ain't no white supremacist stopping them. The RP to Chadwick Boseman. That man didn't dare not once complain about no white supremacy at all. None. Why? Because he was raised to work hard. The white supremacy was going to come between him and his money. Look at Ice Cube. Ice Cube came from hip-hop rapping. Coming out of Compton. That man owns his own film company. He still does his own music. Same way with Snoop Dogg. You'll see Snoop Dogg complain about the white supremacists now, do you? Never once I heard Snoop make not one song about white supremacy. We need to grow up and wake. Y'all tell me to wake up. No, y'all, I've been woke. I've been up already. I ain't never slept. See, I'm pro-real. Okay? And when I talk about people, I talk about all races. Yes, I'll, I'll cover prejudice on my channel. I have quite a few videos covering uh, the prejudice of what Caucasians do, but prejudice can be any race in any color. All right. Somebody being supremacist can be in any race, just like Hispanics. There are some Hispanics out here that are racist against other um, people. They all for their kind, just like the Jews, right? And some of these Asians out here, they don't mess with my race at all. But y'all want to complain about white supremacy. You ain't going to do nothing to stop white supremacy. Because the one thing that's going to stop white supremacy in this country is something that people ain't going to want to do because they ain't going to want to die. There's only one thing that can actually stop white supremacy. I'm going to let y'all listening to this video figure that out. Because my people have made a, a, still made some progress. Yeah, we're not where we want to be, but we made progress. We fought for the right to vote. There's no more colored only bathrooms and restrooms. We're able to play professional sports because of people like Kenny Smith. Or excuse me, not Kenny Smith, but Kenny Washington. But shout out to Kenny Jeff Smith. He's another one that's done well in his community. And has paved the way for a lot of uh, black basketball players to look up to. But Kenny Washington, the first black football player out of UCLA. James, um, Jim Brown, and even in music, you got James Brown that paved the way. Him and Little Richard with Frank and Lyman, right? Sammy Davis Jr. did what he did so black people can have the opportunities. He made the sacrifice so that people can have the opportunities to, uh, to, uh, you know what I'm saying, be in professional music and to go and do rock and roll and to do pop and hip hop, right? Look at Africa Mombata. White supremacy didn't stop his music. As much as people, uh, most of some people out there were against rap music, especially gangster rap. And you know, they criticize rap music by coming up with all these conspiracy theories. African Bombada, again, is the reason why you have the artists you have today. He's the reason why you have a Kendrick Lamar. He's the reason why you had a, J, uh, a Jay-Z and a LL Cool J, a NWA. He's the reason why Chuck D and Flavor Flav was able to do what they did with Public Enemy. Which the government at one time thought they were communists. But they had freedom of speech. They say freedom of speech is freedom of justice. The white supremacy don't stop me at all. I don't make excuses. Those of you who come on my channel talk about white supremacy, it's really sad, right? It's, re it's really cold-blooded. You talk about white supremacy, but how's white supremacy... Uh, how's white supremacy... Affecting your everyday life Is a white supremacist going to stop you From getting an actual job And out here working every day Is a white supremacist going to stop you From saving money Like you're supposed to Y'all tell me that You know Is a white supremacy Going to honestly Stop you from getting that girl you want And marrying Or marrying that woman Or marrying that man you want to be with Just just saying that When there's a such thing Called hard work and effort Yes, Hollywood it has a lot of evil in it, but there's also people that are in Hollywood that ain't evil. 
Just because some of these directors might be crooked and wicked don't mean the talent is. I've seen quite a few celebrities that I know personally that have worked very, very hard and put in the time into their craft to get where they are now. That they own people, they own black people, they own race didn't even help them out. Now I understand why when people make it big, they get those contracts, they get the bag, they move out of the hood. Why? Because a lot of hood got a lot of jealousy and envy. See, y'all want to talk about white supremacy, but the hood is still killing each other off. You got people that's your own skin color that hate your guts, that can't stand for you to have nothing. And if they get the chance, they'll rob and steal from you. They'll shoot you down because of what you have, because you got something they don't. So y'all want to talk about white supremacy. What you doing to stop your own neighborhoods from murdering each other? What are you doing to stop these bloods and crips from still fighting one another? But shouts out to Joey Fox and Vince Staples. They the reason why you got sets like Two Wins and Insane that's clicked up. Look at Nipsey Hussle. Never once did I see Nipsey Hussle complain about white supremacy at all. Rest in peace to neighborhood Nip. Nip was a real one. Okay? Nip was all about peace. Nip had an answer. Most of y'all who like Nip, you ain't even doing what Nip is doing. Nip did not complain about no white supremacy at all. White supremacy didn't stop Nipsey Hussle's money. Nipsey Hussle owned not only his marathon shop, he owned a fat burger, a laundromat, and he owned apartment buildings all within that same block. Okay? And was about to purchase a, a casino. Black man with a casino. Nipsey Hussle didn't make no excuses about no white supremacists. That man in the hood, he knew how to hustle and get it. But yeah, y'all want to complain about white supremacy. You look pathetic. Anybody complain about white supremacy and you talk about sports, you look real pathetic. With all these men my color getting $32,000, $32 million, $60 million contracts. Look at Steph Curry and Patrick Mahomes. They both they earned over $200 million in the last two, three years. Look at Larry LeBron James. They would do anything he wants to do. Look at Kawhi Leonard. Shoe deal. Got three championships. It's about to go into a brand new arena. Terrence Mann, and this is like his um, third year, fourth year in the league, is already just signed a contract for $22 million. His family's set. Terrence Mann ain't got to worry about nothing. But there once, you hear that young man complain about white supremacy. Because white supremacy ain't going to stop him playing basketball. I got a little brother named Christopher, right? This man, little, this, this young man straight said he ain't even trying to go to the NBA. He's trying to go to the Europe leagues. I don't see Chris never once complain about white supremacy at all. Y'all need to stop it, man. Stop complaining about white supremacy. It's, it's, it's getting rolled really quickly. See, that's what the media wants you to, to complain about white supremacy. Right? That's the media. The media wants you to continue dwelling on that. Meanwhile, you got Black Lives Matter that really ain't doing nothing for black folks anyway. That's not for us. You got George Soros who don't give a damn about our race, yet he calls it Black Lives Matter. All he is to us is just a tax write-off. That man don't plan to do spit for you. And I'm talking to the ones who keep coming on my channels, right? The ones who keep complaining about white supremacy. All you YouTubers, right? The ones I've had beef with. You get mad when I talk about, oh, I get on RMG the chosen one. Yeah, RMG himself ain't doing nothing to stop white supremacy his damn self. Same way goes with Hubbard. Hubbard ain't gonna do it. He, he's white himself. I'm just talking about all you black YouTubers, all you people who came on my channel, right? And you cut, you say sports are scripted, but yet my our race, my black people keep getting these contracts. They keep getting billion dollar deals. They getting the bag for over five hundred thousand a year, making up to fifteen hundred a week every game, fifteen hundred dollars or more, living in nice houses, nice homes. Driving them four or five cars, able to buy their moms and pops. Right? A, a dream vacation they, they, they never thought was going to happen. Able to put their pops in it, their moms and pops in a nice home. Buy them that Lexus, that Benz, that Bentley. Able to wear all these fur coats, get on these jet planes and travel. And y'all want to complain about white supremacy. White supremacy didn't stop Giannis Antetokounmpo, who's from Europe. Giannis had it hard. You think Giannis had it easy his whole life? No. 
Just because Giannis got the size he has, don't mean he couldn't. He didn't have to work hard. That's why that man teared up. That man was crying because he worked hard to get to where he is to make a way for him and his little brothers. He's the reason why his little brothers get to play in the NBA. You don't see Giannis, Giannis Antetokounmpo complain about no white supremacy. Come on now, Serge Ibaka, Pascal Siakam, Dikembe Mutombo, all had it hard, very, very hard, coming from another country. Y'all want to complain about white supremacy, but in these other countries, there are black people who are suffering, who are actually in slavery now, as we speak. But you want to talk about white supremacy. Get the hell out of here. You got people who look like me who are enslaved right now in some of these countries like Zimbabwe. Okay? But yet, you, in this country, y'all want to complain about white supremacy? Come on now. Everybody got weapons now. They got guns now. Everybody got protection to defend themselves. What we need to be doing is stopping our own people from murdering each other. That's what we need to be doing. What we need to do is put our own money together, right? Let's come up with a plan instead of sitting right here complaining all the time. I'm on my way to church now to go serve for my building. My church has done a lot for our community. For the city of Whittier alone, we go out to L.A. and Long Beach. We go out to Santa Fe. We hit the streets telling people about God. We open our doors to give people hope. I'm starting a family group now where people who are lost and confused, who are suffering, people who are suffering from heartbreak, they got families like that, like a mom's and pops that's on drugs. They can come to my, to my group and get help they need. They got comfort. Okay? We got what's called Heart for the City, where we donate food to the homeless. We spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on food. We give away each week to the homeless. I'm getting ready to participate in for Heart for the uh, City now on Saturday. I'm about to go out here in these streets and pass out food to the homeless that's starving. I'm going to donate some money to the rescue missions. There's people that's out here with no no, with no, no bed to lay their head. No pot to piss in. And y'all want to talk about white supremacy. Y'all need to stop it, man. Just cut that out. I'm serious. Because the lead being scripted ain't stopping these, um, these athletes from getting all this money. You got all these Hispanics coming from Mexico that's opening up businesses. They, got, they open up all these restaurants and laundromats. People could come from another country to open up a shop right now in your hood and you ain't got nothing to say about it. But you want to complain about white supremacy. White supremacy is not stopping them. Ain't stopping none of these Indians from running these 7-Elevens and these gas stations. Ain't stopping none of these Asians from owning all these, um, all these restaurants that we get our food from. You got all these minorities, these ethnicities that come from other countries opening up grocery stores. Opening up car dealerships. Some of them are owning these McDonald's. They own these these uh, these these chains, these um these franchises. Look at Magic Johnson, for example. Magic Johnson, since y'all want to talk about white supremacy, Magic Johnson, not only was he uh was he president of the Lakers, right? That man owns the Sparks and he owns the Dodgers. Okay, yes, Magic Johnson owns the Dodgers. I did a whole video dedicated to him. Didn't get no views. Why? Because people are jealous of Magic. Yet this man got AIDS, full-blown AIDS. Yet he made no excuses. He kept going. Him have AIDS and stop him from being part of the NBA. Yes, he's still an advisor of the uh, Lakers. He's just not a president no more. But he owns the women's basketball team, the Sparks, and he owns the Dodgers. As well as other businesses. Like when he owned his own movie theater. Never once did you hear Magic Johnson complain about white supremacy. At all. None. And Magic grew up in the 60s and 70s. Folks back in them days had it a lot harder than we have it. But yeah, y'all want to complain about white supremacy. You look real sad and pathetic. Y'all need to stop it. Look at Barack Obama and Michelle Obama. Husband and wife. Got the opportunity to become president and first lady. Obama didn't wasn't complaining about no white supremacy. He had a plan to get on top. White supremacy didn't stop him. Despite his mom being despite his mom being white, his daddy is still black. He's still a nigga. And I don't like saying the word nigga, he's still a Negro. Okay? Look at Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne John Johnson owns the XFL. He bought the XFL away from Vince McMahon. It's his football team. It's his football leagues. He got his own football league, his own football teams. All eight of them. Owned by Dwayne Johnson. How many of y'all is actually out here supporting Dwayne Johnson's XFL? None of you. 
while y'all sitting here complaining about white supremacy. Dwayne Johnson did exactly what he did in his show Ballers. Go watch Ballers. It's on Hulu and Netflix. And on Hulu and Netflix, on that show Ballers, the man sued the league for what they did to these football players. They are giving them proper care. And why not having that money to own the Kansas City Chiefs in that um in that move in that um show. I think he did about three or four seasons of it. Like, come on now. He not only owned the football team, he also owned a um a surf, uh, I think he owned a um he owned a um I think a surf um a surf team or something like that. But he had other um he had he was a he he owned other clients from other sports. Dwayne Johnson is living his dream. The man worked hard to get to where he is. Just because his father is Rocky Johnson don't mean he didn't have to work hard. Just because his grandfather was high chief Peter Marvia didn't mean that he didn't have to work hard. He still struggled. That show Young Rock is based on an actual true story. That's his actual life. And yes, Dwayne Johnson is running for president in 2024. With his mom by his side that's still living to this day. But yeah, y'all want to complain about white supremacy. Y'all need to get y'all need to cut it out. It's getting old very quickly. Look at NBA Young Boy, right? Out the hood has the highest streaming as far as numbers. You don't see him complain about no white supremacy. He ain't scared of them. And neither is Cardi B. And despite how evil, um, how evil um, and wicked. That uh, Lil Nas X baby again, he ain't complaining about white supremacy. Lil Nas X is doing whatever he, the hell he wants to do, and that man got the LGBTQ by his side. He ain't scared of no white supremacy. So why should you? There's plenty of preachers and pastors out here making money. Shouts out to my pastor, Pastor Jason, because he follows God, he follows the Lord. He's able to do the things he's able to do. And that man's a millionaire, and I don't say that to brag, but the Lord blessed him. He's a Mexican man. He used to be a, a drug dealer. And God blessed him to come away from that. Never once do I see her, hear Pastor Jason complain about white supremacy. It don't affect him. It doesn't apply to him. Because the people that's out here are successful, they don't have the same mindset. And I noticed that. Just because you depressed about white supremacy on me, I'm depressed. I got to be depressed about it. So I'm letting you know right now, if you think sports is scripted, you should not be watching my channel no more. I'm going to say that again. If you think sports is scripted, you do not watch none of my videos when I talk about sports. How about that then? Because the only one on this earth that can stop white supremacy, honestly, is God in heaven. There's nothing we can do about somebody who's choosing to be a racist. Because a supremacist don't got to be white, folks. It could be brown, black. There are black people who are black supremacists. Who are racist and prejudiced against white folks and other races. Yes, I said it. Somebody, the, the spirit, the, uh, the ability to be racist could be in any um, anybody of any skin color could be a racist. Yeah, I don't like how people from other races mistreat other races. Wrong is wrong, period. And if you somebody, you know what I'm saying, that you're racist just for the, for the sake of it and you mistreating people, then you're wrong. But then the day, that's their freedom to choose what they want to do with their life. But I'm not going to let that upset me. I'm not going to let that get me down. I'm not going to hate on them. I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. I'm going to get mine. So that's why I just want to make that clear going forward. I do not care about white supremacy like that. Yes, when my people are done wrong in the world, I'm going to cover it. All right? Wrong is wrong, period. And I've checked white and black folks on my channel equally. Have I not? If you look at a lot of my videos, I've checked a lot of YouTubes. I don't just check white folks. I check black people, too. I don't discriminate. But I know there's always a better way. And there's always an answer. And as long as I put God first, I'm always going to be well taken care of. That's why ever since COVID-19 happened, I've never not had a job. I've always had some kind of way to make income. And so if I, God made a way for me to pay my bills. God made a way for me to drive this nice Challenger that I drive every day. And I pay for it. I watched my mom work hard her whole life. Not only, you know what I'm saying, um, 
I watched my mama teach um, child development, teaching children all her life. I saw my mom literally even raising me by herself because my real, my parents were divorced when I was real young. My mom by herself raised me and the rest of my, uh, my siblings by herself, having to get up, at, have to be at work at five o'clock in the morning. Then come home, have to get ready for uh, school at night. My mom would come home at 11, 12 o'clock at night, tired. I watched my mom literally get her degree at the University of Laverne for, for child development with our bachelor's degree and work and retire. My mom retired at age 60. My mom worked hard her whole life. Never once complained about white supremacy at all. Why? Because she believed in God. She had faith in herself. And she had family to support her. So I was always well taken care of. Despite my background and what I've been through and how hard my, uh, my life was growing up. White supremacy did not stop my mom. My mom lived, my mom is from Jackson, Mississippi. Where the real rednecks are from. So when y'all talk about these athletes, you talk about uh, scripted and white supremacy. That stuff does not. That goes out the window. That does not apply. The, all the money these owners, these um, these these owners are giving these players. Come on now. The NFL gave the players' coalition ninety million to help their cities out, respectively. Yet you had that that idiot Ricky Strong talk that mess. You don't know what he's talking about. Just stir the pot. I do not give a damn about white supremacy. How about that then? White supremacy is not going to stop what I got going on. It's going to stop me from out here saving souls for God. And I'm going to die serving my God. Whether y'all like it or not. And that's just the way it's going to be. That's just how it is. Because life is way too short, matter of fact. Life is way too short, right? Life is like a vapor. Life is, is like a vapor, pretty much. We're only going to be on here for a certain amount of time. I'm not going to spend all my days worried about no white supremacy. But I got too much other stuff I'm trying to get done before I get of old age. And I can't do it no more. Okay? You young folks, because I know I'm, I'm just, some of y'all are young who've had a problem with me on YouTube. You need to decide what you're going to do with your own life and stop worrying about white supremacy. When some of your other peers is passing you by that you went to school with and graduated high school with, a lot of them is getting their degrees and becoming uh, business owners, doing real estate. Some of them is getting all these jobs. They on social media happy about their life. So what are you doing with your life? That's just for you young folks who are younger than me. Yeah, I may be 31 years old, but I still got wisdom. I still have my grandparents. My grandfather, rest in peace, taught me to work hard. Don't make excuses for nothing. Always held me accountable. Same thing with my big mama. Rest in peace. She took care of the household with no complaints. Make sure that there was food on the table. Everybody had clean clothes. Make sure we, was, we had enough to survive during the week. And she grew up hard. She was born in the 1920s. She was able to see 92 before she passed, okay? And she lived her life happy. Never once did she complain about white supremacy like that. That's what the media wants you to keep thinking about. Just like I know Donald Trump ain't really that much, that much of a racist. He ain't really racist like that. Because before Donald Trump declared that he was going to be president running for the Republicans, every black, po every black person in the media had respect for him. They did business with Donald Trump. So all this Trump being a racist, that's just all brainwashing from the media. And that's the problem, man. People are watching way too much TV. You're in the house all day long. You need to go out and, and do something else with your life. Yeah, I like playing video games like the next person. I like my, my Netflix. I like to be on my computer, but I also know that there's a, a world outside. There's fresh air out there. And I'm not going to always be in the house all the time. I'm going to get out there and go do something like I'm doing now. Okay, but enough with the white supremacy, man. This, this is really getting old very quickly. Cause there are people out here on YouTube, there are people out here on social media that's complaining about white supremacy that hasn't done nothing as far as their own community. They ain't made no, not one progress at all. They ain't done nothing. 
There's nothing they did that people gonna remember them for. And yeah, people are trying to call me a hater. I'm like, no, man, white supremacy ain't stopping me or my family from achieving nothing. But anyways, man, I hope that gave y'all some light. I hope that encouraged somebody. Stop complaining about white supremacy. I do not care. Good day.